हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू येट अनदर वीडियो बाय ओपन सोर्स कुक इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लुक एट दिस मल्टीमीटर एंड हाउ टू यूज दिस मल्टीमीटर सो दिस इज अ जेनरिक मल्टीमीटर व्हिच यू कैन गेट फॉर अराउंड सिक्स सेवन हंड्रेड रुपीज डिपेंडेंट ऑन व्हाट काइंड ऑफ डील यू गेट ऑन द नेट सम मैक्सटेक कंपनी एम ए एस So why I'm saying it's a generic multimeter. Most of the multimeters will give you this facility. So first of all, let us have a look. What are the facilities available in this particular multimeter? Uh, like other generic ones, it has a facility to measure voltages. You can measure AC up to maximum 600 volts. And for better clarity, there is a lower range which is up to 200 volts. then you have this dc measurement which is up to 600 volts dc and for very fine measurements you have up to 200 millivolts and then there are uh, breakdowns in between where you can check that accordingly next you can measure resistance with this particular uh, multimeter and uh, the lowest one uh, for very fine measurement they have given is 200 ohms and uh, the maximum you can measure is 2 mega ohms with this you can also measure current uh, and uh, thing that you need to remember is it is only for dc dc measurement of current and it starts from uh, 200 micro ampere and it goes up to 10 ampere the only thing that you have to remember is when you want to measure 10 amperes then you have to use the 10 ampere uh, socket over here for the measurement another two things that are there is a continuity tester which gives a audio beep when uh, whatever you are test uh, testing is not broken in between and uh, the last one that is here is for checking transistors okay so like other ones you have the common point over here where your black probe goes in and uh, the next one you have for all standard measurements except for 10 ampere dc everything this red probe will be connected over here so be careful when you are measuring 10 ampere make sure you remove it and connect it on this side and as soon as your work is done remove it and connect it back over here on this side okay now what are the other features in this uh, the basic added advantage that they have provided is it comes in a casing which is supposed to protect the multimeter if it falls down i'm not going to test it but yeah the casing looks quite nice it is good cushioning that is provided to the multimeter while working you sometimes want the multimeter to be kept slanted so they have provided this you can keep the multimeter like this right so when you are taking some readings and other things while you are working it becomes quite easy for you okay one interesting feature that they have provided is there is a backlight okay so when you press the backlight so you can take readings easily if it is dark or something then another one that they have provided is a hold facility so you may want to take a reading and uh, you may want to note it down so whatever reading comes up if you press the hold you will notice that now it has gone into hold you can see that h coming over here the minus was blinking so now it is on hold you have to press it once again to get it out of hold now this can lead to confusion sometime if you forget to unhold and you try to take readings it won't show anything so make sure before you start taking any readings it is not on hold so those are the basic features in this 
So now we are going to see. Uh, we'll be starting off with measuring resistance. How to measure a resistance with this? So very uh, fairly simple though. So I have got some resistors over here with me, and uh, let us have a look how good it is in terms of measuring resistors. So what I have here is you can see this is a wire wound 10 watt resistor. I've taken it specifically so that. Uh, you can see what is it says it 220 ohms so the first thing that you need to do is to get it onto a range which is higher than the specified value so I'm going to set it to 2k that is 2000 ohms and we are going to try to measure this particular resistor over here now one thing that you need to remember while measuring resistors is you do not hold both the sides like this okay don't do this always leave one side you don't want to mix up your body resistance with this so okay here we go so this is showing around 239 ohms okay because it's in the 2 kilo ohms range so it's showing 0.233 okay fairly good enough all these resistors have some tolerance it says a 10% tolerance so it's fairly within the range now here I have a 150 ohms and let's try checking this yeah so okay that's going around 180 so since this is 150 ohms I'm going to bring it down to 200 ohms and let us see how it how well it works on that yeah so yeah so this this resistance doesn't seem to be so great okay let's see what else we have okay here i have a fixed 50 56 ohms resistance uh, this should be fun to measure on this yes okay so this is this is fairly near to the value okay another i have is 33 ohms this one let's see okay so within the tolerance range and it's giving a very good reading nearby okay what else we have here is this this one is around one mega ohms so let's see if if we can actually do the measurements for this the maximum range for mega ohms is quite Hi, so let's see. See, it won't show anything here. So I'm just going to straightforward go up to two mega ohms in this case. And yeah, so this was a 1.2 mega ohms resistor. Fine, and it is measuring the value perfectly. Now, here there is one which is given for diodes. A 2k range and they have also provided a diode symbol over here for checking whether a diode is correct or not so I have few diodes with me and two LEDs with me over here for checking whether they are working or not so here this is standard 1N4007 diode and uh, silver line is missing okay so in forward bias okay so this is forward bias so this side is negative and I can also see a small silver line over there this is forward bias We're getting it and here we should not get anything so that means this diode is fine this is another 1N4148 diode and here I can clearly see the black mark over here I don't know if it is visible 
So over here again this shows a perfect forward bias and okay so this diode is also good let's try out LEDs on this so this is your LED and uh, let's try connecting this okay this is reverse biased and this is forward biased uh, you can see the LED is glowing also on forward bias so this is fine the easy way to identify the longer leg for the LED is usually your anode or the positive ok here you can see this LED is also working ok so till now so good next thing we have is a continuity tester over here this becomes very useful when you are doing continuity testing and uh, you don't want to look at the meter all the time fine so you'll get a beeping sound coming out of this which will give you the continuity idea whether it so I have uh, this glass fuse this is a working glass fuse so, so you can see you can hear a beep over here ok so almost zero zero resistance is for continuity let's just try this with 33 ohms and let's, let's see for what resistance it says its continuity okay, so no it's not it's not giving any continuity for this resistance also showing it as a resistance but it's not saying it as a continuity so continuity you should have almost no resistance or very 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 less resistance ok so this is your continuity tester you can see it's almost like zero resistance showing ok so next we are going to uh, see how to check the voltages and uh, see how well it works with voltages <laughs>